Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I don't know. I'm not supposed to give rides to strangers. What if I promise you free candy? Hop in. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah, totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks... <sighs> He's... Moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's uh, a step dick because he's overly sensitive and he thinks he's way more important than he is. Also, he's a dick. 
poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scum. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those.
It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Enough messing around. Bag time. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Look up! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Fight the power. Mind if I do. Don't even insects. fucking think about it. About Damn. Are we uh, gonna have to prepare to evacuate the next few days? I don't think it'll come to that. Well, the fire is spreading in an unusual way. They're surrounding the northern part of Arcadia Bay, but not advancing towards. Whoa! Unusual indeed. What causes a fire to behave that way? Hey there. Right it's okay, little here. guy. Oh shit! Pompadou! Get up here! Pompadou? You little killer. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Okay, but he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Okay, 
So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. It's not like you signed a confidentiality agreement. You can be less discreet this one time. Nope. I protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. People feel flattered when you give them inside info. If you want happy customers, tell them all your secrets. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Jeez, Frank. So sensitive. You guys got a thing going? Mixing business with pleasure? So, are you gonna tell me who that was? Christ, do you ever shut up? I'm not telling you anything, okay? <sighs> you don't have to be rude about it. Two damn seconds of peace and quiet is all I want. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good now. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. 